Bernard Tobin here with Commodity Classic in Denver, Colorado. I'm catching up with Alex Caldwell now from Case IH. Alex, how's it going? It's going great today. We're so excited to be here at Commodity Classic this year and uh, getting to launch our first Sensenac Technology Sense Supply here at the show. Awesome. Let's talk about Sense Supply here. You know, I've done a lot of work on variable rate fertilizer spray application. Um, this this seems to take variable rate to another level. What, what are you trying to achieve here? Yeah, so really what we're trying to do is bring that variable rate application that we've seen for a number of years now out in the world, and uh, we're bringing that to a live fashion. So we've got a single cab-mounted camera on our machine that allows you to analyze the crop condition out in front of you, or the field condition rather, and be able to adjust your application on the fly as we're driving through the field. You've got seven applications here, Alex. Yeah. Uh, let's let's start let's start with the the variable rate applications. I mean, it looks like you're going to be able to variable rate throughout the season in a whole bunch of different applications right. through the season. Yeah. So we've got five different live VRA modes right now. We've got nitrogen VRA. We've got fungicide PGR. Harvest stades or desiccants, depending on what part of the world you come from, right? And then a VRA burndown application that allows you to do a uh, full boom variable rate application of your burndown pass in the fall. Now you're also doing spraying, so you've got you know selective spray, and so you've got spot spray and base plus boost. Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah. So we can do a spot spray application as well, which is a green on brown application. If you better know the industry term that's out there, so it's a fallow field application only. We are checking, uh, we are looking for weeds out in front of that. I guess I should come back and say that, that single cab mounted camera is looking about 50 feet out in front of the vehicle and it can see about 140 feet wide. So as we're driving through the field, we are spot spraying down to three nozzles out across our entire boom offering to include our 135 foot booms from the factory. Let's talk about a couple of things I noticed. Uh Speed, I mean, 25 miles an hour, yeah. VR application, up to 19 on the spring. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we're talking about a technology that doesn't slow you down, right? So plenty of us have fields where it's not practical to drive to those speeds, but it was important for us here at Case IH to make sure that our technology is geared to the way that you're already going and driving and applying across those fields. So for all of those live VRA, VRA applications we just listed, you can apply up to 25 miles per hour. This camera adjusts and fixes that demand on the fly for you. For those spot spray applications, we're able to see and target those weeds at up to that 19 miles per hour that you mentioned. Talk about where this fits for the farmer on the, and on the farm. Um, you know, I mean, again, a targeted application throughout the season on and a totally different applications. Yeah, so feel free to go reach out at, and see at caseih.com the approved crop list to see what crops are approved for which applications. But with a variety of uses for this technology, it really does a fantastic job of meeting operators where they are and then being able to find some benefit or some payback for this technology and just the ease with which that it integrates into their operations and their practices today. Yeah. Talk about that, that ease of operation. You know, what is, a, what is an operator going to see in the cab? Yeah. Uh, what's that cab experience going to be like? Absolutely. So it ties to the Viper 4 Plus display that we offer from the factory. And if anybody's familiar with that Viper 4 Plus display, we all know that job setup screen that you're tied to. So you're going out, you're going to create a new spray job as we go through the field. You tell it that you're either going to do a live VRA job or a selective spray. And instead of a single input of a number for a broadcast rate application, you're setting that minimum, that maximum, you're telling it the crop type, the stubble height, and then you're even setting a safe rate, meaning that if I wanted to take manual override command or if the sensor were to not be able to variably apply for any given situation, we're always going to default back to that broadcast. So it really gives them the ability to fine tune the control of that application by setting those mins and maxes and giving it the boundaries or the framework with which we're going to go apply that field. Now we talked about it being adaptable, you know, cost effective, economical. Let's let's talk about where the, the efficiencies are, Alex. Yeah. I mean, you had a, a slide up here earlier during the presentation today, yeah. uh, full of people, uh, <laughs> that, you know, you shared from 6 to 65 percent depending on the application. Yeah, yeah, so we really get to that 65% number when we're talking about our spot spray applications, right? That's where you're really seeing the benefit of being able to really target and, and dose those weeds in those areas of the field while it's having that chem savings across the room. The nitrogen, the fungicide, it's going to vary by crop type. The other thing to keep in mind with all of those savings percentages is, right, if, if I have a perfectly consistent stand across that field with no variability, there's nothing to variable rate, right? 
So our savings exist in the real world where, where we see more and more variability, you'll be able to realize more and more savings throughout those fields. Talk about that boom and uh, how it's going to work when it comes to, you know, being able to sort of live spot spray. Yeah, so we are able to uh, spot spray down to three nozzles across that boom, right? So we have a single cab mounted camera that's looking that entire width. It is watching for that weed across that viewing window. And then as that weed passes underneath that boom, we're gonna turn on a minimum of three nozzles to make sure we get a good efficient kill. The biggest thing that we want to impress with this spot spraying technology is that we are prioritizing the efficacy of that pass across the field over savings. First and foremost, that sprayer went out there to do a job and we want to make sure that it does that job well. A couple of things here, Alex. Um, no subscription. Let's talk about the, the cost structure. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the lifetime activation. Here. Right. So we're really proud to be able to offer this technology from the factory in model year 26 with no annual subscriptions and no per acre fees associated with it. When you're purchasing it from the factory, you're going to be able to buy one of two levels. The base live VRA of the five VRA applications that we talked about here today, or you can buy VRA plus the selective spray upgrade. Each of those come fully unlocked for the life of that device. So not even associated with the vehicle that you purchased the technology on, it is on the camera itself. That is your technology to be able to realize the savings off of season after season. Let's talk finally about uh, the models and the availability. Um, uh, a factory fit, am I correct, for 2026 models? Yep, yep. we will be bringing uh, aftermarket kits as well. Uh, that'll retrofit very easily back to our model year 23 machines. It's going to be factory fit on all 50 series sprayers as well as Trident 5550 combination applicators. Nice little plug there for the Trident 5550. That live VRA nitrogen works hand in hand with the dry fertilizer box on the back as well. So this has uh, implications and benefits uh, when we're doing dry with that combo unit as well as with a liquid bed on the back. And a retro kit to come for older models maybe down the road or? Uh, so retro back to that model year 23. The reason that we're targeting that model year 23 brake is that's when we stepped up to the Raven RCM rate controller. Anything that would predate that, it could start to be a little bit cost prohibitive to step that up. But an ambitious customer and dealer might be able to work out how they might go about doing something like that. Great stuff, Alex. Uh, appreciate you making some time for Real Agriculture here at uh, Commodity Classic. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much, Bernard.